All right, try this again. Uh, basically, here's my next my number thing. Come on, damn camera. All right, so I just took a, a, a set of these primes, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, and just squared the first prime, which is 2, and just kept it at, at beginning with the first prime, 2. And then it basically was like a hit and miss, and, uh, you know, 2 squ squared is 4 plus... Then uh, plus two is eight. That does not give you prime. If you take er, two squared, that's four plus three. That's going to give you seven prime. So basically, it's just a hit and miss of primes for each one. When I cubed it, uh, plus n equals five primes there. And then I, uh, you know, to the third. And then when I put that p to the fourth, that's two to the fourth plus n plus the next, you know, because uh, uh, consecutive prime. Uh, gave me three primes. So using each number, you know, p uh, to the fourth plus two, uh, and then p to the fourth plus three, and so on until I got, until I added to other prime numbers, and I did that three times within that set, going to 29, even though it has an et cetera thing there, but I just stopped at 29. Um, so I just took these prime numbers and added them. Um, so I did this years back, so I'm trying to remember the, the thinking behind it. So I uh, added all these basically, and uh, you know, two, two to the four plus three plus seven, etc. Um, and then it gave me 480. And then I added the next uh, uh, set of primes um, of how many primes I have within the thing, gave me 198. So I just divided those, and I went ahead and uh, uh, rounded um, down and rounded up. Um, I'm sorry, round it up and then round it down. Um, but I had uh, 479 divided into 199. So that gave me 2.4070351767. So I was just kind of experimenting with this thing as I was going along. Um, so I got three primes out of that. So I just formed a set out of that. Come on. Well, let me unplug this thing. So we have a... Uh, uh, set out of that three five seven and then I took the fractions of uh, two point four zero seven zero three five one seven six and just uh, divided it uh, Going from right to left six divided by seven two divided by one, etc And that gave me nine point five two three eight zero nine four two four So I just took those numbers from the decimal point going uh, left to right this time and it gave me seven eleven thirteen so I just put those primes that I grabbed out of it and put it in a set, 357, 7, 11, 13. So that gave me 357, 11, 13 primes. So uh, all together, um, uh, the pri primes that I had, uh, it was, uh, they were uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. That was the, the amount of primes that I grabbed out of that. So I uh, basically rounded down and rounded up because uh, if I would have kept it at 480 divided by 198 it would have just gave me a series of 42 uh, 2 point four two four two four two four two um, so it would have gave me a continuous uh, uh, thing of that so um, uh, so I had something to say about that from the largest to smallest you would continually get prime two from smallest to largest. You would get point five, which could, without the decimal, give you prime five. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is just experimenting with some prime stuff. Um, basically, uh, I started using logarithms, uh, and uh, you know, with the decimal point, it gave me one point nine zero eight four eight five. Um, zero one nine. So I just uh, again divided those going from right to left to give me eleven prime, and then I got three prime, and then uh, uh, I had not quite prime. I had two point seven seven. That one round up the prime, but um, so I was just kind of you know some experimenting with prime numbers. Uh, I'm sorry if this sounds boring. Um, this is some years back, so I don't remember exactly. But all I was thinking, I think that was pretty much the idea, I was just trying to grab prime numbers. And it's, then I did some factorial stuff. Um, this is kind of just my miscellaneous prime stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, I just kind of just wanted to see what I can get, just playing with my calculator. So, um, so I wind up using n exclamation mark plus 
and exclamation mark, et cetera, et cetera. Come on, I can't focus in on this thing. Um, so I just substituted, plugged in the numbers there, and then that, you know, two factorial plus three factorial plus five factorial um, uh, plus three factorial and uh, all of that. And so it wound up giving me seven. 773 prime, 773, that is a prime number. So I did also did two plus one factorial, plus three plus one factorial, da 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 da. Uh, plus five plus one factorial equals 750 plus one, 751 is a prime. So I also used uh, some sigma stuff, had uh, uh, you know the, the sigma symbol X, looks like an E symbol X, uh, sigma X, and I had. Oh man, it's all blurry. Uh, man, I tell you, this camera thing is not going well for some reason. 2 plus n, um, comma, 3 plus n, comma, 5 plus n, all in the uh, parentheses. So uh, that were not giving me 31 prime. And I did, the next one was... Uh, EX, 5 plus N, plus 7 plus N, plus 11 plus N, all in parentheses, um, times 5 plus 7, plus 7 plus 11, plus 11 plus 13, plus 1 gave me 66 plus 1, 67 prime. And the next example uh, gave me uh, 113 prime, and I wrote uh, also let X uh, uh, squared equal 4, and let N equals consecutive set of prime. So... Uh, there it is, just some more prime stuff. Um, and, uh, and the next example gives you 89. And the next example is uh, sigma x um, uh, squared give, uh, with 11 plus n, parentheses, 13 plus n, comma 17 plus n, you know, times 11 plus 13, plus 13 plus 17, plug it into numbers, you know. Plus 17 plus 19 plus 1 gives, me, gives you 162 plus 1, 163 prime. Proven more ways to get primes by using primes. Uh, but the formula could change depending on n primes. So I don't know. That's just some stuff I did to get more primes. So uh, next week I, I want to plan on doing another cryptology thing. I did the simplest cryptology thing that you can possibly do that I don't even use anymore. Um, the Caesar cipher, which is kind of fun, but it's easy. So I just want to... Add a little bit more stuff with the alpha and cipher, public key stuff, and I'll leave it at that because I don't really know too much about that. But anyway, um, stay tuned next week um, for every small amount of views when I make it. But that's another one. All right, bye.